In this video, we're going to look at how to accomplish authorization using Amazon Cognito user pools. This is going to follow along from the previous video where we did authorization using context.identity property. But really, the main thing we kind of did in that video was look at how to use the mapping templates to add an index to identify the user and then query based on that index. But in this video, we're going to kind of look at how to do maybe a higher level authorization use case. So the way that we're going to do that is within our actual schema, we can add different properties using some syntax that is kind of unique to AppSync. So we can pass this at AWS auth, and we can pass in an array of Cognito groups. And when the endpoint is hit from the front end client, it's going to recognize the currently logged in user that is trying to access this either mutation or this query. And it's only going to allow the process to be run if the currently logged in user is a member of this Cognito user group or Cognito group. So we're going to take the existing schema that we left off in the last video. So I'm, I'm going to add a new um, property to list cities. And I'm going to say at AWS auth Cognito groups, and I'm going to pass in the admin as the um, group. So we'll go ahead and click Save there. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to open the text editor for the query that we're running for list cities. And in our logic in this configuration, we're returning an array if there is not a props.data.listCities property returned from our API. And if there is, we return the listCities.items. But what's going to happen when we hit this endpoint now is if the currently logged in user is not a member of that group, we're going to receive an error. So we need to actually handle that error. So the way that we're going to do that is instead of returning directly from the function, we're going to return um, explicitly. And then here we're going to perform some type of logic. We're going to say if error, you know, do something. Because right now this data is cached. So if the currently logged in user does get an error, we're still going to be showing their uh, existing data from the previous API call. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. Well, actually, let me go ahead and say console.log props. And I've, all, all, I've also um, updated the schema to add this AWS auth cognito, cognito groups. Go ahead and double check that I saved that. And I'll open my debugger and I'm going to go ahead and refresh the app. So we see that our cities are still showing up. That's because again the data is cached. And if we actually crack open this props.data object, we'll see that we now have an error. Normally the error is going to be undefined or null. So when we do have an error, we can actually now handle that error. The way that we're going to do that is I'm going to say if props.data.error. I'll just go ahead and return cities as an array, empty array. And then we could also kind of pass down like an error prop if we'd like or something like that. But for now, the cities uh, being passed as an empty array is just going to empty out our UI. So let's go ahead and refresh that and try it again. So now that we see we do that, if we refresh again, we see that the, the cities kind of show up at first and then they disappear because the error has is, is, is shown up. So that's kind of the, the functionality that we like. So how do we add this currently logged in user to that group? I'm going to go ahead back into the Cognito project that we're working with and I'm going to click on users and groups and I'm going to create a new group and I'm going to call this group admin. And for everything else I'm just going to leave it blank. I'm going to click create group. So we now have this admin group. I'm going to click on admin. I'm going to click add user and I'll go ahead and add myself to this group. So now if we go to groups, admin, we see that I'm part of this group now. So now we should be able to refresh and see that because I'm currently a login user, part of this group, 
I'm going to now have access to this data. And one thing I think we need to do actually is go ahead and log out or sign out and then sign back in again. I believe some of the user data has been cached. So if we go ahead and log in again, we should have that new user cognito user group associated with us once we log back in. All right, great, so we log back in. We see that the data is coming through. We have no error. So to test this out again, just to make sure this is working, I'm gonna go ahead and change my schema to say something like admin2, where we do not have a group name admin2, and I'm also not a part of that. I'll refresh, open my debugger, and we're gonna log out the data. So here we say error, not authorized. That's perfect. Let's go ahead and Switch this back to admin, save, refresh. And no error, we're good to go. So that wraps up a really basic intro to how to use Cognito user groups to do authorization using AWS AppSync.